All right, guys, uh, installation is complete all day, and uh, we are tired. And this is number seven on the install series. So now we have the two classics up there. You can see that. And I um, hope you get a good view of that. So set up the the controllers for each battery bank the one at the top up there is uh, running these batteries at the top the six and uh, the second one right there is running the batteries the six of the batteries down there like I said earlier this one is running the heavy duties which is that it has 1920 kilowatt hours of solar array and uh, this one right here is running the other pip right here which is uh, 990 watt hours what it's not even a kilowatt and um, we have all the bus bars. These bus bars here, these are the new ones. The new ones right here, running for this guy right here, which is, these are all the stuff he covers for the house the upstairs. And this one right here, run the bus bars down there. You can see them. And it runs the battery bank right there. So everything stays the same. You have the most uh, the arrays here, which is uh, one and two. So the one is gonna be uh, the Kyoceras, the twelve panels up there, and these are the other ones with the. Uh, um, 10 modules up there, all wired, series parallel. The new Wizbank Junior and the Shant is right here. These are the new ones uh, I just installed for this classic up here, which is for the 990. And this other bus bar right here is the old bus bar that runs for this. So as you guys can see, um, the house is pulling approximately 10 amps from the battery. This is uh, the battery down here, okay? Six of them. And this other one up here is pulling 15.2, approximately 15.2 amps, and is drawing from these batteries up here, the other six. So the house is totally running independently on all the uh, stuff. So if you look at here, the house is pulling 189 watt right here the house is pulling 315 approximately 315 is bouncing back and forth 320 so this one will be for the top batteries right here and that's the controller up there so this one here is uh, 189 and it's pulling 10.1 amps from the bottom battery. So far, so good. I hope you guys understand because some of you guys were asking questions. So this is how we lined up the entire system. Two classics, um, six battery on each classic. And um, you see the bottom row, the top row, two shunts to Wizbank Junior, double bus bars, 
and um, I'll get you to um, the amp hours just to give you a thorough explanation so the amp hours this is for the house the garage and all the heavy duty washer and all the stuff there so carries 600 and, uh, 465 amp hours which is this battery bank down here the see the VMAX tanks and um, the other ray sorry the other bank you will see 450 amp hours and which is this array battery bank sorry up here so the reason why we decided to do this if there is uh, any possibility or maybe um, <clears throat> blackout or something or you run out of juice so the entire house will go blackout completely this guy will stay on because yeah, 450 amp hours uh, battery bank. So just the lights and all microwave, uh, fridge, family uh, refrigerator and freezer, and all the other outlets. So it doesn't take that much. This is the one that works harder. Which um, in the near future it might be uh, additional to the batteries, like two of them for these guys right here. Two more VMAX tanks, 155 amp hours. We round it up to 700, approximately 720 amp hours. That'll run everything. So they don't have to worry about anything anymore. This is the configuration, this is the setting, and this is what I've already done. Since you guys were curious and asking questions, some of you guys want to see. Uh, this is video number six in the series I hope you like subscribe thumbs up share the video and my channel and make sure you subscribe to Stevie B Rockstar Solar I'll put a link on the dis um, description below subscribe to his channel help him out make sure um, he has already put a lot of work into this this entire process is uh, eight months I've been working on this uh, um, particular solar eight months now is an eight month old since summer because adding improving changing upgrading you know a lot of stuff you guys know when we started it's just the six batteries at the top them are the only one so we end up adding six more batteries because the reason he was doing that make sure the entire house is off grid so now it's totally off grid so we gonna, I'm not gonna be here tomorrow to see the one old installer, everything went. He's gonna power up everything tomorrow and make sure um, now the AC side is working. All is inverting right now. I have to put this cover back here. See, the fans are still really clean. And you guys can see. So don't reverse the fans. Don't put them backwards. If you put them backwards, it's gonna make this uh, device really dirty. It's venting out the air. It's cool. It's really cool air. It's not hot. So look at that. Look how clean it is. It's still clean for eight months. So it's not sucking the, the, the dust up here. It has exhaust on the side. You can see the exhaust. A little bit of uh, spider web here. And um, this one don't even have that much on it. So this is the uh, intake. And the exhaust on the bottom. There's a reason why um, uh, Midnight Solar decided to do that because of um, they don't want your equipment or uh, devices to get dirty inside the boards, you know, MOSFET and all the cool stuff. But anyway, uh, this video is getting longer, but I want to explain to all of you guys so that you guys get able to understand what I did and. Uh, this is the job and I'm done and I hope um, Stevie is happy with that but when he shows up 
is going to tell me or is going to let you guys know on his next video. Make sure you watch his video. It's going to be um, the first video is going to launch and tell you how the system is running. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this channel. And I love you guys all from Wanamingo, JW Solar USA, signing out. This is the last or the final video for this series. Bye for now.